Hello, my name is Julius and welcome to IELTS Dragon. It's been a while since the last time I posted a tutorial video. So today I will answer one of the recent IELTS speaking cue cards and of course the part three practice questions. Let's begin. Describe a speech experience you had. Let me talk about my experience in high school when I delivered a motivational speech in front of my classmates and my English teacher. The title of my speech was, Nobody is thinking about you, you do you. Well, our English teacher asked each of us to deliver a three-minute speech on whatever topics we could think of. Her objectives were to give us an experience of delivering speeches in front of an audience using the English language, and of course to help us develop our English communication skills more. So I started my speech by saying, nobody's thinking about you. I said that three times, directed to the three classmates of mine who were sitting in front of the class. They were surprised when I did that. I then uh, continued my speech by focusing on the idea that people must do what they want to do in life and stop thinking of the idea that they had in mind about what people would say or think about them if they do this and that. And I said that nobody is thinking about you because everyone is busy thinking about themselves. When I delivered that line, there was a deafening silence in the classroom. I bet uh, they made a realization about the words that came out of my mouth. Um, anyway, I just ended my speech by saying, you do you, three times in a more persuasive way, directed to the three classmates of mine with whom I said that nobody was thinking about them. Well, this story appears in my latest reviewers. If you're interested to see my reviewers, I'll send you samples. Just send me an email. I will surely send the samples. Well, actually, my reviewers are on sale at the moment. These reviewers helped many students pass the test. And I'm very proud that a lot of my students or a lot of students pass the test by using my reviewers. So if you're very busy, don't have time to prepare, get my reviewers because Everything is prepared for you. Let's move on to part three. What benefits does the internet bring to communication? Well, benefits include being able to communicate live with our loved ones and other people who are living away from us via messaging or video calling applications. The internet helps us connect with other people very easily no matter where they are. I also think that the internet uh, helps us access different kinds of information that are important in day-to-day -day life, such as asking for a direction, uh, weather updates, relevant news, and things like that. Undeniably, the internet uh, revolutionizes the way we communicate and the way we access information. And these things are what we all should be grateful for. What personal qualities does a good communicator need to have? I think a good communicator knows how to listen to other people. They aren't full of themselves uh, because their level of empathy is high. Aside from that, they love learning. They educate themselves a lot because they want to share wisdom with other people. And obviously, they can articulate themselves very well. That is without question. Which is better, being a good communicator or a good listener? I think it would be great if a person has the best of both worlds. I mean, it's amazing if uh, a person can articulate his feelings or opinions uh, uh, very well. And at the same time, he's very good at listening. When a person is uh, a very good communicator, he can easily influence other people. And if he is good at uh, listening to other people, he can you know, gain their trust very easily and cultivate uh, healthy relationships. So I cannot uh, pick which one is better, 
because I believe it would be great if these two important characteristics are mastered together. Does technological development have a negative impact on communication among people? I believe so. In fact, uh, it's ironic because we're in the social media era, yet we become so distant from one another. I mean, a lot of people cannot build genuine relationships with other people. Their conversations uh, become shallow and somehow everything is superficial. It's funny because I have a lot of friends on social media, yet we can't even exchange greetings when we see each other unexpectedly outside. Also, at home, so family members are too busy doing something on their phones that they don't even talk. So, obviously, it has some impacts on communication. Congratulations to my one-on-one -on -one coaching program students, Madeline Bautista, Band 8, Trisha Dayan Reyes, Band 7, and Isa May, Band 7. Thank you so much, everyone, for choosing me as your coach, and I'm so happy that you all made it. And to Isa, thank you for believing in my reviewers, and I'm just so happy that you all made it. Congratulations, and best of luck to you guys. And to you all who are watching this video, I am looking forward to mentioning your name in my next video. So keep working on your dream. Don't give up. Just like Aizame. Never say never. Never give up.